Hi, welcome back to Corsica Drone. So today we've got the Hudson Export A Pro, which is a 501A, I believe it's officially known as. Yeah, H501A. So this is the kit that comes with the controller. So the transmitter in this has a relay built into it to give you longer Wi-Fi. You can buy it without the controller, and you can buy it without the controller, but with a relay box that clips onto the back of your phone. So there's three different versions of this you can buy. I decided to buy the one transmitter because I got it on offer when I bought it. So let's see what you get in the box. I can remember how to get in the box. Okay, so in the box with Hudson's unique packaging. Very basic, isn't it? Hudson's packaging. So in the box you get a set of props. I'm not going to bother showing you them at the minute. Inside here you have a charger, the drone itself, the controller, the antenna for the controller, a manual and Hudson like just putting boxes randomly in. So, this be the way they start packaging things. So this is the drone. Let's put this on the controller before I turn it on. Not wondering why it's not working. So, this is what you get in the this is what you're mainly getting in the box. So this is a 501 SS. Yeah, they're very similar. In fact, they're exactly the same. So the only difference, well, the main difference, of course, this is a newer model. This is also no 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Sorry, a 5.8 gigahertz FPV. This is actually Wi-Fi, hence why the relay. The advantages of that is you get obviously far more options on the app. You get waypoints and certain things, and you're going to get a decent range because of the relay built into here. Now, I have heard, obviously, I've watched various videos on this. I've watched a video, uh, and the QC guy seems to think that this is one of the best flyers out there. Hence why I bought it to test it. So. The proof will be in the pudding, of course. So this is the controller, that's the drone. So let's just turn it on. The great thing about the Hudson's, and the, one of the best things about the Hudson's, is the fact that they don't have proprietary batteries. Let's just plug that in. And turn on the controller. Long press your controller. So you can adjust your modes, and you've got dual rate and stuff like that on here. But we're going to go through the main things today on the controller. So, obviously, this is a fixed camera. So, there's no adjustment on here. It's a fixed camera as it is on the 501SS 1080p. So, as you can see, we've already bound. So, let's connect it up to the app. The Wi-Fi you're looking for is Hubson HT00, sorry, HT0118, and that's what we're going to connect to. We're going to connect to the relay box inside here, not the drone itself. And then the app it runs on is the same app the Vino runs on, Hubson X. So it's Hubs and X app. Gonna go into this. We're gonna select what it is, H501 X4 Air Pro. And we're gonna enter the device. So we need to enter the main interface. Let it connect, it'll take a couple of seconds, and there we go. Let's flick it onto the transmitter so I can show you working. So this is the app. So, I've already done this off camera because I had a, an issue with filming there, but it normally it would ask you to do the same thing as the Eno does in the 5078, and that's to bind the aircraft to the controller. Once that's done, you're ready to fly. It will ask you to do that, and it, if you first time, it'll also ask you to do a compass calibration. You can obviously force compass calibration if you really want to. So let me just show you the app. So the top button on here, you have waypoint mode, follow mode, orbit mode, and... VR mode, so you can wear VR goggles. Below that you've got your con 
Oh, if I didn't want to use the, if I didn't have a controller connected, that's how I put my things on my screen. Take off the land, we won't be hitting them buttons. Choose between camera and video. So that shows me what's in the air, there's nothing on here, I've got to wipe it. And then up at the top you've got altitude, distance, speed, you hit your signal, your signal from this, your signal from the drone itself, the amount of satellites you've got, and the battery percentage of life, which is 48% on this occasion. And then here you've got loads of controls. So this is where you set your, diff your altitude for your waypoints, and your distance and everything like that, and your maximum flight route. Here's where you can play with your controller. I fly out mode, one of you probably know. Virtual joysticks off the screen. Rotate screen if it's the wrong way around in the holder rather than take your phone back out again. And take off if only GPS signal is well. Now I've turned that off so I can test it if I wanted to fly it indoors. I do not recommend flying this thing indoors, but you can do. And if you see they're greyed out because of the fact that I'm using the controller, it doesn't allow me to adjust them. This is your map. To set your settings on your map, always show the aircraft current location, calibrate to China, obviously you don't need to do that. The relay, which is what this is, and it's telling me that the relay is the HT011A, which is built into this. And then the other settings are your aircraft firmware and all the rest of it. GPS accuracy test, whether you've done, you can do that again. This is where you'll do your calibration of your compass, if you wanted to do that again. And it'll tell me whether I'm bound to the current aircraft. Okay. So, that's the app. It's very similar, well, it's not exactly the same, but it's a similar way it works to the Xeno. So, so basically, that's about it. On the, on the controller, you've got an orbit and follow me button on here, and don't just use any of them because it's all done on your screen. The controller feels really nice in your hand. You can start and stop recording from the buttons on here. You've also got some wheels, on, let me just go back into it. You've also got some wheels on here. Now these are, this control is obviously made for other things as well, because if this had a gimbal you could adjust it would be on here. But of course it hasn't got this on this con model. But this controller can be bound to a lot of other stuff. And when I say a lot, of, I mean a real lot of other stuff. It's not just this it flies on, because this controller is available for so many different things. You can fly the, you can fly the original 501 on this one. Because if you look, I've got it in Wi-Fi mode, you can fly it without that and just have it flying that. But you just use your goggles if you don't want to use the Pro Controller. I really do like this transmitter, by the way. I didn't say that earlier. So, that's basically it for the drone. So, tomorrow night, I'll have the flight footage up and my conclusion on this. Um, but so far, so good. I really do like the fit and finish of it. And it's a 501, so I know, I know what it's roughly going to fly like. But I've heard this is a little bit better to fly. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you then.